side, though, it is a completely different picture than what we had earlier today. As you see outside, we have partly to mostly cloudy skies. You can't really see the clouds out there now, but it is nice and quiet. Here for the Denver area, those storms have pushed off to the east and are now actually leaving the state. We still have a flash flood watch in effect here just north of Burlington for a few more hours into the early morning hours of tomorrow as that storm continues to push off out of Colorado. Here in Denver, though, we still have a few little sprinkles here and there off to the east of us. Nothing severe by any means. We have no more watches or warnings here for our area and a few scattered showers up into the higher elevations as well. So you might have the windshield wipers going off and on if you're traveling up through there. As for our severe weather reports, we talked about this a little bit earlier. A lot of hail and high wind reports. We had a bunch of hail here around Denver, but tornado reports up into Weld and Morgan counties and then also out toward Cope, where we saw most of our other tornado reports. And then here in Denver, hail reports on the west side of town, out toward Lakewood, and then down uh, toward Centennial and even into Aurora as well. So it was a very active day for us. 50 degrees, our overnight low tonight. We'll have partly cloudy skies as all of this completely clears out. Partly cloudy tomorrow morning as you're getting up and about. We'll have scattered showers later in the afternoon and evening. And like I said, there will be isolated storms, but I do not think we'll see the intensity of the storms that we saw today uh, with the tornado watches and severe thunderstorm watches and warnings. Isolated storms here across Colorado. Hail and high winds mostly reserved for the central plains, uh, but for eastern Colorado, we could see a few isolated storms that have some lightning and heavy rainfall. As for your commuter planner, tomorrow morning, 50s with some clouds and then scattered thunderstorms into the afternoon hours. We'll top out around 78 degrees for a high with those isolated storms into the day. Uh, but as we go through our next few afternoons, things will quiet down. Upper 70s for highs here around Denver, 80s for southeastern Colorado, and 60s and 70s for the mountains tomorrow afternoon. As you see on the seven day forecast, though, we warm it back into the low to mid 80s here Wednesday and Thursday. We start to dry it out midweek. Partly cloudy skies into Friday. Temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s will actually be in the 80s throughout the weekend with sunshine and into the low 90s by Monday. So more warm air is on the way. Uh, but today, I think um, all the projects everyone had with the gardening, then you get the hail on top of the brand new flowers. There's a lot of frustration.